Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is good to see you guys as usual. So tonight I am going to do my makeup. <laughs> That's all my vi my videos have been here lately, but I just love makeup so much. So I really like to do makeup videos and just get ready with you guys. I have some things to test out for you guys and yeah, so I'm really excited. All right, so first up I'm going to spray my face with the Garnier, Garnier, whatever, Skin Active um, Water. It's a facial mist, and it's supposed to be hydrating. It is made with rose water and without parabens, dyes, and silicones, it says. And this is what it looks like. It kind of looks like a perfume, um, but it's not. So let's spray my face. Ooh. That feels so nice. I had to spray so much because it feels so nice. Like, it's not like a mist, like a, you know, like where you, some things they say they're a mist, but you spray it and it's like, Phew. but this is like really, really nice. I like this stuff. It smells so good and you can tell that it's hydrating. I'm going to just use a sponge and just push that into my skin. But that is really nice. I like that a lot. Alrighty, so next up, I'm just going to put a little bit of the Varsali Rose Gold Elixir just on my face. Just like a, the smallest bit. So next up, I'm going to try the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I've heard so many good things about it. Um, I just have a sample because I want to, you know, test it before I buy it. Um, because, you know, if you just buy the full thing and you end up not liking it, because I've heard mixed reviews on it, like some people say that it is drying to the skin, and if it's drying, then I don't want to get it because I have dry skin, but if I do like it, then I will get it, so we're just going to test it out in this video. So I'm just going to open it, I'm just going to like dig my nail in, into there, I'm just going to put some on each side of my face. Okay, so now let's just smooth this in. So it's supposed to, of course, make your foundation and stuff go on smoother. I love it so far. Like, I love the smell of it. It smells really good. If you guys have tried the Tatcha water cream, that, that kind of smells like that. Um, but yeah, I'm liking it so far. It's definitely smoothing out my skin. And of course, I like to put a lot of primer on my nose because of, um, my nose tends to get like texture on it, gets really dry. So yeah. But so far... I like it. So let's just see how the foundation goes on over it. So I am using the Too Faced Born This, Fa Born this Way foundation. Um, you, all, you guys already know I love this foundation and I'm using the shade Nude because I am, I am spray tanned right now. So I'm using this little beauty blender thing. It's not the actual beauty blender but it's one that I got from Walmart. I've told you guys but I like this. All right, so let's just go. Okay, so I made you guys closer because the lighting wasn't very good, so I made you guys closer, but I really am liking this primer. As you guys can see, like, my um, pores are, like, non-existent like it really smoothed over my face and made the foundation go on even smoother than it already does by itself um i really really like it so far so so far i'm really liking the primer all right so now we're gonna go in with some concealer So what I usually do is I'll go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, the smaller, 
skinnier one and then I'll go in with that Too Faced Born This Way um, multi-use sculpting concealer so the fatter one I'll go in with that because I like both of them the fatter one is a lighter one so so like I said the fatter one um, the multi-use is lighter so I'll go right directly under the eye to highlight so now I'm going to go directly under and just go right here right here what I always do and just go right under the eye to highlight and if you guys hear that noise that is my dog he's singing my if you say I love you to him he will literally try to say it back so he's cute all right so I'm spraying my sponge and I'm just gonna go blend this out like usual now I'm just going to highlight where I want go down my nose I'm so shaky keep as well and chin then I'll go right in the middle of my forehead just a little right there but I'm a sponge like usual and um, just blend it out now I'm gonna go in with some setting powder and I am using the cover FX the perfect setting powder and I'm just gonna pick up my sponge right here and dip into my setting powder and go in my under eyes and then I'll dip into my setting powder and like kind of contour my nose with the setting powder okay now my nose is baking I'm going to do some contour with this contour palette right here. You guys know sometimes I do a uh, cream contour and sometimes I don't. So it's that kind of day. Just going to dip into these two lightest shades right here. And I'm just using a Real Techniques um, blending brush. All right, so contoured, and now I'm going to, whoa, almost spilled my powder everywhere. I'm going to dip into this setting powder right here. What I always do. This powder is excellent to bake with. It hasn't ever gave me any flashback. I just started using it, but so far I love it. So yeah, I just let this sit and yeah, I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. We can wipe off the nose because like I've said, I don't like for my nose to be, I don't like for the powder to sit on my nose too long because my nose is kind of dry and if it sits too long, it will look horrible so okay I am back so now I am going to put on some concealer over my eyes to use as an eyeshadow primer and then I'll just blend it out then I just blend it out with my sponge now I'm just gonna dip into this setting powder go all over my eye so we have a clean base to start on and we're gonna go in with the morphe palette 35 f palette all right so you guys know what i do when i do my eyeshadow so i grab some setting powder go in with my sponge and just go right here to catch all the fallout that happens when I do my eyeshadow, I'm gonna grab this palette. And I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go in with these first two shades right here. Nice transition shade. 
Going in with this wet and wild brush right here that I'm using. It was a dollar. Very good deal for a very good brush. And I've told you guys, like, it's a, it's a really good blending brush for just being a dollar. So, if you guys are also looking for some good priced brushes that are a little bit nicer than the Royal Techniques brushes, I'd say. Um, my favorite brushes, um, you can get them from Morphe. Um, they have some very, very nice brushes. Like, my favorite brushes. Alright, so I got that nice transition shade in there. So now I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Right in the middle. And I'm using an M433 for this. A Morphe brush. Very nice Morphe brush. Now I'm going to go with this shade right here. It's a nice shade. I like it. This little brush right here and just going with the black. And just do a little bit of black just on the outer corner. Not too much. So now I'm going to cut the crease and I'll be right back. Okay, so I cut the crease. I'm going to spray this brush right here. And I'm going to go in with a pretty shade. I just don't know what shade I want to go in with yet. I think I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Now I'm going to dust off this setting powder. I'm going to go in with this shade right here, right in the inner corner. And then I'm going to mix these two shades right here and go on the uh, brow bone. And it mixes right with the eyeshadow. So pretty. Now I'm going to go on the lower lash line. And just go with this shade right here. Now we're going to do some eyeliner. Okay, so I just did a line. All right, so for mascara, I'm going to be using the Voluminous Original by L'Oreal. It's one of my favorite drugstore, well, favorite mascaras ever. I usually just use drugstore mascaras just because I don't see like a difference. Like I feel like, like with high-end eyeshadows I do see a difference but like with mascaras I don't really care so I really love this drugstore mascara it is really good okay so it really like lifts your lashes and just gives you like a lot of volume um, it's really good mascara now I'm going to apply some lashes um, so I got the salon perfect go glam multi pack this is what they look like. I'll show you what they look like on. So I'm going to go ahead and apply those. I'll be right back. My lashes are on and they're all right. Um, they're not my favorite lashes I've ever tried, but they're pretty. I'm just applying mascara to them. I feel like they're just a little bit weird shaped. I'm not used to them. So that's probably what's wrong. Okay, I added mascara to the bottom lashes. Alright, so now we're going to do some bronzer. And I got two new bronzers. Um, first, I got the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer by Too Faced. I'll show you what it looks like. So, it is gorgeous. The new packaging, oh my goodness, so pretty. Hold on, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's a very, very gorgeous uh, bronzer and it smells like chocolate. Oh gosh, it smells so good. Um, but it's a very nice bronzer, so, um, I've already tested it, so I, I know it's a good bronzer, but I wanted you guys to know, uh, that this is a very, very nice bronzer, and to definitely try it out for yourself, um, it, I would definitely 100% purchase this again, and I probably will when I run out, so I love this. Also, yesterday I purchased the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. 
haven't tested this out yet but I can literally smell this stuff all day oh my gosh it smells so freaking good this is the one I'm gonna use today so it looks like this I got it at Walmart um, I've heard very good things about it so I wanted to try it for myself so it comes you uh, flip this up and it comes comes with this little thing right here um, I probably will not be using this but just wanted to show you guys what it comes with so it's like a sponge type thing I've never seen anything like this I don't like the noise it makes um, but yeah that's what it comes with so we are going to use this bronzer today and this was $12 I think $12 and some um, but it's very very nice let's get this big fluffy brush out right here <clears throat> and oh, I just can't even explain to you how good this smells it smells so freaking good oh, it smells so good alright so let's dig this brush in here I've heard it's very buildable It's definitely buildable like if you put it on your face it's not gonna be like you know like too much might even go over this with the chocolate soleil bronzer just because this is so buildable Ooh, this is so nice I love this stuff and it smells so freaking good all right so I'm gonna add some to my nose this honestly is like the best smelling makeup I've ever used in my life just saying, so freaking good. I'm gonna go with the Chocolate Soleil bronzer as well. Just because the other one was very, very, like, subtle. This one is super buildable as well. And it's a very gorgeous. So I use that as well. As you guys can see, super gorgeous. They're both matte bronzers. I'm going to go in with some blush. The blush that I always use from Lancome. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with this um, Fit Me powder. And I'm going to go on my end of eyes with it. Very, very nice powder. So, of course, I get a lighter shade on my under eyes for this powder so I just push it into the under eyes put it right here my chin so pretty I love it now I'm going to grab my hourglass ambient lighting powder in the shade diffuse light with a little highlighting brush and we're gonna go on the under eyes you can also go over your blush with it. Cute. Now I'm going to spray my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter. And I'm going to grab this fan right here. These hospital fans definitely come in handy. I'm going to highlight my face. And from the Anastasia palette, I'm going to use Gumdrop. It's definitely really pinky. I think I'm going to go in with uh, Butterscotch because it's less pinky. Just go over that. It's really pretty. And then we're going to highlight right here. Hope you guys like my hair. I love my hair like this. I really like it. Alright, so now... Alright, so now I'm going to go in with this um, lipstick right here. By, uh, by... And it's called Glace. I used it in my last video. I tested it out. And I really liked it. So now I used it a lot. Really pretty. I love this color. 
And I'm going to go in with this um, nude shade right here. Looks really good. Alright guys. So this is the finished look. I'm loving it. Um, the new products that I got are awesome. Um, the lashes, I'm not like a huge fan of, but maybe I'll get used to them. I don't know. We'll see. But everything else looks awesome. I love it. So let's show you guys what it looks like. Alright, so there's the look. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making the video. Um, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!